It may seem like an impossible task to earn $70,000 as a beginner dropshipping in 30 days, but I'm here to tell you it's not. I started dropshipping almost a year ago, feeling lost and confused within my first months trying, even doubting myself and the legitimacy of this industry at times. But with consistency and a lot of trial and error, I was able to crack the code. This store is still making me money till this day. I'm going through the entire process step by step from how I found the product to the advertising methods I use, and also some secret strategies for those looking to sell and advertise their products on TikTok. So the first thing I did is obviously to find the product. I have a burner account that I only use to find products to sell. For this, you have to create a brand new TikTok account and start researching through TikTok made me buy it, Amazon finds, I want a refund, and interact with the content so the algorithm will start showing you more videos alike and a bunch of winning products. Always make sure that when you're searching on TikTok, you click on the three dots and filter for videos of this month. This way, you will find the upcoming trends that are less saturated and you have way more chances. Many YouTubers advise to go for products that have millions of views, but for this product in specific, I tried to go for something that was a little bit more untapped, so the competition wasn't so high. Ideally, you want to find new trends with a good amount of views and positive feedback where you see that people want to buy and there's demand. So I can't say exactly when my product is because I'm still making money with this product till this day, so I don't feel ready or comfortable giving away my winner yet. But what what I can say though, it's that it's in the women's beauty niche. Now the niche doesn't really matter, but for me personally, this is one of my favorite niches. The way I found this product was just scrolling through my burner account. This product popped up in my For You page, and I thought it was very interesting and something that I've never seen before. This was the first green flag, because that's the exact reaction you want to get from the audience when they see your product. I just made a video on product research, so you can look into the strategies I used to find winners. I realized that this product was relatively new. There were not many accounts running it, and the performance of this account were a great indicator that this product was a winner. Now, only to confirm my assumptions, I went over to dropship.io, which is a website where you can spy stores and track their sales. I searched the link of this store that I found. The stores were making really good money with this product. So I went over to Aliexpress to find a product and saw that the supplier was selling it for as little as three dollars the competitors were selling it for around 20 to 25 dollars so i knew i could get great profit margins from it next step was ordering the product from amazon to start making content with it and then in the meantime while i waited for the product to arrive i created my shopify store now i won't do an entire tutorial on how to set up a shopify store but if you guys want me to do a video entirely dedicated to store creation then let me know in the comments like this video and follow me on my Instagram, you can always DM me if you have any questions or you need help. You can just use one of the free themes and customize it from there. You can use apps like Jam Pages or PageFly for custom landing pages. Once my product arrived, it was time to make the content. I always take one day to pre-record as many TikToks as I can because the key here is consistency. You want to post at least three times per day. If you can do more than that, then it's better. For all the people that are trying TikTok organic, here's the best tips I can give you. Take one day to pre-film as much content as possible. Don't forget to post your content on Instagram Reels as well. Research the competition and niche. Recreate the viral videos you find. The best way to get good results is to recreate something that's already working. Four, use trending sounds. You can do this by going to TikTok, clicking on the music icon, and if you scroll down here, you find some playlists. You can either use the US Hot 50 if you're selling on the US, but the one I like to go for is called TikTok Viral. So I just use the trending sounds from here. Five, make sure that your videos are good quality always. No shaky, laggy, or blurry videos. People will skip. Don't use any of the transition effects that come with the TikTok app. I've seen this a lot on people trying to do organic. This also makes the videos look very unprofessional, low quality, and also kind of cringe. If you're looking to edit your content outside of TikTok, I recommend CapCut for editing and Eleven Labs if you want to do the voiceover videos. So now comes the part that nobody wants to hear because a lot of people come into dropshipping wanting to make quick money and achieve results right away after their first week 
or even first month, which as a beginner can be really hard. But if that was the case, then everyone would be successful and rich with dropshipping. It's just not the reality. You cannot expect to try dropshipping as a beginner and instantly make money. You need to study every day and learn the game. The process comes with a lot of testing, whether it is with ads, with different products, with different content, trying and trying again. For example, for me, I had had success with dropshipping in the past, but with this product in specific, I still had to be super consistent. My first videos weren't performing well, barely getting from 500 to at most 2000 views. The game changer for me was really studying my niche and doing research. Instead of recreating the content of the stores that were running my products, I started looking for similar products and seeing how I could recreate their viral videos and make them work for my product. I copied hooks from some TikToks because hooks is the most important. You need to catch the attention of the customer in the first seconds of your video. And I also try to look for what was trending within the niche and then try to incorporate those trends into my videos. This way I was able to get my first video to 10k and my first two sales. From there I just kept going and kept posting the content that was already working and two days later I woke up to this almost 1 million views on one of my videos and it just kept blowing up from there. But remember that was not after 3 weeks of very low views and a lot of effort creating content, studying and failing a lot. That did not make me 70k but what I did do was turning my viral video into an ad. So I went to the TikTok ad library and created a test campaign for my product with my viral TikTok as my creative. I created one campaign with 5 ad groups with a budget of $100 per day. Since I already had that viral video, I was confident that it was going to work. And already the first day of running that campaign, I made $250 in sales and was actually profitable. This taught me that I had way more control over paid ads and that this was more scalable. So I kept increasing budgets and scaling until I finally got to even 3k days. Now I know this might sound a little bit technical, but I will definitely be doing a video of my TikTok ad strategy in the future so make sure you subscribe for that so it was through that ad strategy and scaling that i ended up my month with 69.65k in sales calculating the profits each product cost me three dollars and i sold it for 20. my cost per purchase was about eight to nine dollars depending on the day so for each sale i profited around eight to nine dollars too so my overall profit was around 27 to 28k which I would say is pretty good also considering that I was running ads. So hopefully this video gave you an idea and this strategies can help you so that you can do something like what I did this summer. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to click the like button and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram to be a part of this journey and I will see you next week.